my wife and I, we were traveling with Europe in a, in a camper van with our two dogs and uh, we kind of decided we had enough of traveling. We actually were quite tired from traveling, believe it or not. So uh, what we didn't want to do is we didn't want to come back and start renting or get ourselves back on the mortgage ladder again, kind of getting in, drenched in, uh, in debt. So my wife had a great idea of like, oh, what about a narrowboat? I wasn't overly keen at the prospect at first. I was like, aren't they a bit dingy, a bit small, a bit, mm, wasn't really keen on the idea. We went to see a few, that didn't really change my, my sort of thought on it. And then luckily we found one called Lisa. Uh, we had luck at it. Um, yeah, we just fell in love with it. So we've lived in Lisa now for a couple of years uh, and it's flown by to be honest. Um, when we did move on to, onto the narrow boat, this learning curve was really steep. Um, but we got we got a grip of it, uh, and we you know we've had fun learning new things along the way, and now we can finally say we're we're all right boaters. Uh, we we do an all right dry job going places, and we know the etiquette of the boating world. So yeah, it's been it's been a good couple of years so far. The boating community is actually really friendly. Um, everyone's there for each other. Everyone's like if you've got a problem or you you're unsure of something, you can just ask the no, the next boat down, and generally they're really helpful. Um, the only issue with it, I'd say, is because everyone's moving when you're a continuous cruiser, is you might get to know somebody, but then you'll be leaving in like two weeks time, moving in different directions. So you, you, you make a lot of new friends, um, but you don't generally see them again because you're, you're continuously cruising. But then again, you're just, you're more up to the next to, next to someone else and they're really friendly as well. And uh, we've got a secret weapon. We've got two little dogs and everyone loves our little little dogs. So everyone's always comes over and says hello to them. So yeah, the community is really fantastic. Does it get cold in the winter is probably the most asked question I receive from, from, it, from people when I tell them I live on a boat. Um, the answer is obviously it does get cold. It's a, it's a, it's a steel container living in water. Um, so in the more, it went like in this past winter there, it was like down to minus six. We'd wake up, there'd be ice on the inside of the windows. It was like, it wasn't fun. But then if you chuck your onesie on, you get the kettle on, you head straight for the log burner, you know, you get that going. And before you know it, 20 minutes, half an hour later, it's, it's glorious in here. And then you just keep topping the log burner up throughout the day and you don't, you, you don't get cold. So yes, it is cold first, in the, first thing in the morning. We haven't got central heating or anything like that, but half an hour later, yeah, we're, we're toasty warm. In two years of, of boating, we've only had a couple of bad experiences. Uh, when we first bought the boat, we, the, the guy who sold us left a generator for us and we just padlocked it up on the back. Uh, on New Year's Eve of all times, uh, we were fast asleep and somebody jumped on the back and tried sawing the, the lock off really quickly. So we managed to scare him away. And then the following morning on New Year's Day, we actually had a dead body float within about 10 feet of, uh, of our boat. So that was a, an ominous start to the new year. And then um, the only other thing which we've had sort of like a bad thing was we were in London and our chimney is really big. It's kind of a bit of a focal point of the boat. Uh, and some guy who was, uh, shall we say intoxicated, uh, decided he didn't like it and he proceeded to, uh, to try and have a fight with it. But again, we scared him away and, and, and no harm done there. So it's definitely interesting living on a boat. The canal system in London is really busy. It's got a lot of boats in there, all shapes and sizes like you wouldn't believe. Um, one of the things we found is when you have to move, because we were continuous cruising, is when you have to move, you really don't know when you're gonna find another mooring spot because it is that busy. And what you'll find as well is it'll be double moored. So there'll be a boat moored on the inside next to the towpath. And then another boat will have to moor onto that boat, which obviously then if you've got kids or children or your ball lake to, to cross over. Um, so a lot of the time it is double mooring in London and then once we decided to leave London and we came out once we left London we couldn't believe it because there's like there's moorings everywhere it's beautiful sort of like uh, scenery so it's an experience being in London and it's very very busy. The best bits for me of living on a boat would be a uh, twofold really one is the freedom so we can go up and down the length and breadth of the of the canal system in the UK, which is fantastic for exploring. Uh, it's a really slow pace of life as well, if you want it to be. And I guess the other thing which is really great is the financial freedom it, it gives you as well. So we're very lucky we don't have to pay council tax. Uh, we have solar, so that generates our electricity for us. Um, 
We do pay a license at the beginning of each year, which covers such things as uh, your rubbish bins, your where to dispose of your Elson, uh, but it also includes your water. So essentially you've paid for your water bill up front for the rest of the year as well. So financially, it, you get to save quite a bit of money. Would I recommend living on a boat? Uh, absolutely, we love it. At the moment, we really enjoy it. Uh, it's probably one of those questions we get asked a lot. is like, oh, are you gonna live on a boat forever now? And honestly, we don't know. At the moment, we enjoy it. But if the, if the time comes when we're like, you know what, we'd like to live in a bricks and mortar house or try something different, then we certainly will. In terms of financially, it's been brilliant. We get to work. We, our outgoings aren't too high uh, compared to if we were living in a, in a, in a house or an apartment. Um, and like I say, the adventure's there. And isn't that what life's about? Is like sort of like trying new things, different, different living experiences. Um, yeah, we love it so far. So, uh, so far, so good.